Thank you so much for joining us today at Discovery Park of America. I am Katie Jarvis from Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee, and I will be your host for this and other lessons with professors from the University of Tennessee at Martin. These lessons are for students in grades six through nine, but they will also be of interest of, for somebody of any age. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm so excited to have Mrs. Kyoko Hammond, a lecturer of Japanese at the University of Tennessee at Martin. She will cover how to say different phrases in Japanese, including food items, sports terms, and how to ask some questions. So thank you, Mrs. Hammond, for being here today. No problem, my pleasure. All right, so very excited to be here. So should I just go ahead and start? Absolutely. My lesson? All right, oh, so and I'm let me to learn screen. I know I have no knowledge of Japanese words, so I'm excited maybe, to learn something. Maybe I'll ask you questions. <laughs> You can be my student. <laughs> right? You can be my student. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Katie, do you see my Nihongo I do. PowerPoint? All right. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll start. So, yes, welcome and thank you for joining my lesson today. So, I teach Japanese. And so, my today's lesson is Nihongo. And actually, Nihon, that's the country, Japan. And Go is actually that's the language so nihongo means japanese language but you know now you can remember nihongo so let's go to japan that's nihongo that's the language you are going to learn today so sorry so probably the first question you have might be i think it's hard i think it's hard to learn the language you know i don't think i'm gonna try so i have to say maybe Maybe yes, <laughs> because we had, you know, we use three types of uh, scripts. And so mine's called hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Kanji is actually Chinese character. So Japan, we borrow Chinese characters and we use them as a part of our writing system. So now here, so I have a little sentence. Usually I write this way. So Jennifer studies. Japanese language, for example. So Jennifer, that's American name or not Japanese name. So I should use katakana. And then the major kind of core information, for example, Japanese language or study, it comes in kanji, Chinese character. So it's more like visual cue, oh, Japanese language and study. And then the rest, for example, the end of the verb, do, is in hiragana, or we call so-called particles. It shows, okay, this is a subject, this is a direct object, and that kind of particle will be written in hiragana. So it's kind of a mixture of three scripts. But I wanna say, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so no difference between singular and plural. What mean is I can say I have a pen, or I have tons of pens, but in Japanese, it doesn't matter. If I say pen, I'm, maybe I'm talking about just one pen, or pen, I'm talking about tons of pens. So there is no difference when you speak pen. And actually, that's something I still have trouble with when I speak English. Maybe you catch my mistake today, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and then no articles, again, so there is no a or an or the. So, you know, we just say, I have, I have pen, that's it. There is no, I have a pen or I have the pen. We don't have that. So again, that's my struggle when I speak English because mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And then the third, no rules for word order. You know, what do you mean about that? So for example, I wanna say, I don't know, I watched a movie with my friend, Katie <laughs> at her home on Sunday, you know, something like that. And the only rule is I just have to say watched that verb mm -hmm. at the end of the sentence, but everything else can be in any order. So I can say with my friend Katie at her house, a movie, I watched. Oh, wow. That's okay. Yeah. So, but it's because of the particles, but you know, it's basically just one rule is keep that verb at the end. That's it. And we have only two tenses, past or non-past. 
which means if I'm going to say I will eat breakfast or I eat breakfast every day, it's same verb. There is no change. And then I want to say just past events, I ate. And then I have to say, you know, past tense, but only those two, like past and non-past. Wow. That's that. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, so, we, we learned the past, present, and future. So right? Yeah. There's only yes. two. Just only two, you know. And then easy to make questions. That's just add ka at the end of the sentence. So that's something you will try today, but that's that. You know, in English, if I say, I like pizza, if I ask Katie that question, I have to put do you like pizza, Katie? You know, I have to do that. But in Japanese, basically, like, Katie likes pizza, ka, that kind of thing. So, so I just that, add. <laughs> is that kind of like a question mark? Kind of, yeah, exactly. But just one sound you add, and then that becomes a question. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited to learn how to ask a question later. Right? On. <laughs> yeah, you definitely will try today. <laughs> And then, yes, you, you, I, I said you have to learn different writing system, like three kinds. Mm -hmm. But if you learn the basic 46, the hiragana letter, then you can actually write everything in Japanese. So the same sentence I showed you before, you know, Jennifer studies Japanese language. Mm -hmm. I can write that same sentence just using the first hiragana letters alone. And so, yes, it might be tough, but think about it. Just like you're learning secret code, you can just share with your friends, somebody who can read Japanese. Right, <laughs> exactly. Right, so, all right, so let's move on. So I see you, I meet you for the first time today. So I feel like I should introduce myself. And so, hello, I am Kyoko, and nice to meet you. So first, Remember, it's not written in Japanese letters because we realize that not everybody can read Japanese letters. So, for example, right here, maybe you can see it. If you go to Japan, you know, you go to train station. All the train station have, you know, something in Japanese writing system, but they also offer so-called Romanized system. So try to write Japanese sounds using alphabets. So you can kind of get the idea how to pronounce that word. And so the basic rule is Japanese language has five vowel sounds. And so we use A, I, U, E, O to present that vowel sound. So first, if you see A, you have to pronounce A ah, like in calm. A, ah, open A. Ah. If you see I, it's E. If you see U, it's U. E becomes E, and O becomes O. So that's the five vowel sound. It's just a system, it's a rule. So now let's look at kind of hello for the first time. So this is, we can use it only once. So I can say it to Katie today only. <laughs> Just for the first time. So that pronunciation will be ha ji me ma shi te. Ha ji me ma shi te. But that sounds like a robot, so I have to make it a little bit more natural sounding, which is ha ji me ma shi te. Wow. Ha ji me ma shi te. Do you want to try, Katie? I'm going to try. I'm going to try it <laughs> slow first. Uh -huh. Just so I can get all the vowel sounds that you have yes. here. Uh -huh. so, so, ha, mm -hmm. g, g, right. Mm -hmm. ma, mm -hmm. shi, te. Mm -hmm. You got it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to speed it up. Yeah, so, hajime maste. That's it. Hajime mashite. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Hajime maste. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you put your name right there. And then again, the verb like I am, am, or are, is those be verbs, it's this, it comes at the end. And I put the little parenthesis for the last you, u sound because we don't pronounce that so strongly when you have it at the end. So I would say, kyoko desu. Kyoko desu. So, Katie, how would you say your name? I would say, Katie, desu, desu, or desu. 
Yeah. Yes. yes. So Katie. Yes. Has- Perfect. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good job. Thank and you. And then last part is nice to meet you. So, dozo, yoroshiku. Dozo, yoroshiku. And we, I use R, you know, the spell, the alphabet, but we actually don't have that sound. So it's a little bit different, but oh. just, you know, it's kind of like in between L and R. So, yoroshiku, yoroshiku. But just do your best. Okay. Dozo yoroshiku. <laughs> Yoro, do, is it dozo? Or? Dozo. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Dozo yoroshiku. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. So, yeah, so, you know, this was the first lesson for Katie. Yeah. So, I'm sure everybody can try. Hajimemashite desu. Dozo yoroshiku. Okay. All right. So, let's move on. Thank you I'm for sorry. teaching me that. I'm excited. Yeah, sure. I'm going to start telling all my friends. <laughs> yes. And now we have to talk about food, right? Ooh, I love talking so, about food. food. <laughs> and so, this is my favorite, you know, like, Japanese food. Of course, like you can find those in the United States as well. But I love fish. I love sushi. And I love that chewy, you know, noodle called udon. You know, these are like what I love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you may feel like, ooh, or you may feel, ooh. (laughs) So, but, you know, we actually Japanese people also eat all kinds of food. They are actually very, very popular. In Japan, you can find KFC, you can find McDonald's, you can find Starbucks coffee, you can find Domino's, you know, it's just basically it's everywhere. And then Japanese people also enjoy all kinds of food. And so I, you see hamburger in the right in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want to learn how to say hamburger in Japanese? All right. Okay. Here, here it comes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hamburger. Hamburger. Burger. Burger. <laughs> right? Hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. It's just a little bit open sound, you know, uh-huh. hamburger. Since we have only five vowel sounds, so uh-huh. it just becomes hamburger. 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 Good job. <laughs> How about pizza? Pizza. 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 Right? Pizza. So it's, not the, it's not the hard Z sound. It's just kind yeah, of like the, an S. Yeah, kind of like, yeah, pizza. 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 Uh-huh. It's still like slight Z sound in it, but maybe it's much lighter than yeah. the English sounding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then fried chicken, fried chicken. Fried chicken. You got it. Yes. <laughs> fried chicken. Uh-huh. I do love fried chicken. chicken. Oh, good. Fried <laughs> chicken. <laughs> and then spaghetti. It's spaghetti. 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 Uh-huh. Spaghetti. Good. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yeah. And then the pancakes, actually, we call them hot cake. Like hot, hot cake? That's right. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So hot cake. You know, something like that. Hot cake. Hot cake. Yes. And so we don't exactly translate those words from English. We just try to pronounce in Japanese way, just easier for Japanese people to pronounce, but we just kind of like, without knowing it, I think, mm-hmm. you know, people just change into their own sound, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now <clears throat> let's ask, do you like hamburgers, for example? Okay. And so it's, so you, we don't use the word you so much, actually. And if it's obvious between speakers and listener, we just we can omit that. So I, that's why I put parentheses for you. And then you say hamburger in Japanese way. Katie, remember? Do you say um, hamburger? Hamburger. That's it. <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. And then you say the verb like and then question marker. I see so, the ka at the end. You see? So yeah. in Japanese, you basically say hamburger ga suki desu ka? Hamburger ga. Skideska, and I'm asking, do you like hamburgers? Hamburgaga, skideska, and then just a little ga you see after hamburger, so it sounds like hamburger, and then ga again sounds <laughs> funny, but we need it. That's the particle to just mark what you like. This is what I like. The option. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So and then ski is like, 
and then ski desu, and then ka, that's a question marker, right? So, <laughs> hamburger ga ski desu ka? So, you remember how to say pancakes in Japanese? Oh, is it? It's, it's kind of like hot cakes, but it's That's hot. right, yeah. Hot cake. Hot cake. Oh, hot, 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 hot cake. cake. <laughs> yeah, so if I ask somebody, do you like you know, pancakes? You can say, hot cake ga ski desu ka? Hot cake ga ski desu ka? Like that. How about, do you like pizza? Pizza. Mm -hmm. so pizza ga, we, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pizza ga, is it ski, de, ski desu ka? Uh-huh, ski desu ka, ski desu ka, good, yeah. Spaghetti. Oh, I've <laughs> I know, spaghetti ga, ski desu ka, spaghetti ga, ski desu ka. How about fried chicken, your favorite, Katie? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is it Friday, fried chicken? Yeah, close okay. enough, close, close enough. enough. <laughs> fried chicken ga, ski desu ka? Right, and then of course I have to ask <clears throat> one more. Do you like sushi? So sushi ga ski desu ka? Sushi ga ski desu ka? Like that. Okay. And so now you can ask question, but probably you would like to answer. So here is two answers I give you. So one is yes, I love it. Mm -hmm. So yes in Japanese is hi. 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 Mm -hmm. Hi. And then you remember ski desu means like, and then this dai, that's big. So big like means okay. I love it. <laughs> so hi, dai ski desu. Hi, dai ski desu. Dai ski desu. I say that phrase a lot, so I've, I've <laughs> tried to put that in my yeah. vocabulary. You now. should, you should. Dai ski desu. That means, oh, yes, I love it. I like a lot. Or if you maybe not so crazy about it, actually you hate it, but, <laughs> but in Japan, people actually try not to use clear no. It just sounds kind of like rude, you know? So instead of saying, no, I don't, we kind of use not really. And so the first, ah, uh, just like English, ah, uh, you know, or but we say, mm, mm -hmm. that's very common. And then the next phrase, chotto. So, yeah, it means literally means a little, but okay. that means basically ah, I'm not so crazy about it, you know. And then sometimes means I actually hate it, but <laughs> <laughs> people get it. <laughs> so, like you know, you say ah, ah, chotto, and then just a little twisting, like yep. your head. Ah, chotto. It, it sounds like it's the same kind of tone, like you if you would say um, not really. It's right, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's how, you know, people do in Japan as well. All right, so now, Katie, challenge for you. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> All right, so ask me if I like hamburgers. Okay. Hamburger mm -hmm. ga ski desu ka? Hai, dai ski desu. Uh -huh. Yes, I love it. Yeah, good, good, okay. good, good. All right, how about this one? Oh, okay. It's hot, 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 uh hot, 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 Daisuki desu. <laughs> uh oh, spaghetti, oh. spaghetti, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti ga, ski desu ka? Hi, daisuki desu. Sounds like <laughs> I love just everything. Yes, there you go. You. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Fried, uh, fried chicken. You'll have to remind me on this one. It's okay. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Chicken. Fried chicken ga. Ah, oh. <laughs> it depends. Some fried chicken a little bit too oily. Yeah. To me. Yeah. That's but, true. So, that's true. Yeah, but, ah, okay. <laughs> All right. And then last one. Sushi. Sushi. Sushi ga ski desu ka? Hai. Daisuki desu. Oh. Katie, 
寿司が好きですか？好きですか？寿司寿司が好きですか？あー、ちょっと。Good job. <laughs> like that. Good. Okay. Wow, this is amazing.、So、I'm I'm really enjoying learning. That's good. That's good. These phrases. Yeah. So actually, of course, you know, in Japan, we you find some unfamiliar food, of course,、mm-hmm. but you also find a lot of familiar food. You know, it's just in a part of their life now. It's just very popular, very、mm-hmm. very common. And so, next slide I have. So I think you know that you're in like middle school, high school. And you're probably doing some extracurricular activities, maybe after school, and that's very common in Japan too. So I found this one, just one school, high school. It called Toyokawa.、Uh, I think it was high school, and this is all the extracurricular activities that school offer, you know, for the students. I know it's small, but kind of look around.、Mm-hmm. Maybe you find something you would like to try, or actually you are, you know, playing right now. And so, let's go to talk about sports a little bit. So, popular sports top three among Japanese high school students. What do you think, Katie? Oh, number this, one. Yes, the most popular. The most popular. Mm-hmm. Let's think. Oh, maybe basketball. Ah,、uh, it's one of the three. Okay. But- Okay, baseball. first one is baseball. Actually, yaku, yaku.、Mm-hmm. Baseball is a number one, and so basketball is actually number three. Okay. Can you guess number two? Can you give me a hint? Use a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis. No, actually, it's soccer. Soccer. Yeah, soccer, soccer. Yeah, and so soccer, and then. Ah,、uh, basketball, but it's long, so oftentimes people just say basket, basket. basket. You know, just basket. Uh huh. So yaku, saka, basket. Those are the three kind of popular sports among Japanese high school students. In the basketball one, is the is the U silent? It's again、up? silent.、Okay. Yes. So I think sometimes those like U sound becomes really really light.、Okay. It depends where the sound kind of shows up, you、okay. know. And so in this case, you got the ears, Katie. Basket. <laughs> <laughs> basket. Basket. Okay. So yaku, saka, basket. Okay. Here you go. So can you ask me? Do you like soccer、yeah. or baseball? Or basketball. Okay, I'll,、mm-hmm. do, I'll do yaku, ga. Yaku, yaku. Okay, yaku ga. Skedes ka? Hi, daisuke des. But just watching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So good, 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 good. Ja- And then yeah, basket ga. Skedes ka? Hi, daisuke des. But again, just watching. I'm not, I'm not exactly asleep. <laughs> So I forget then, soccer. Yeah, saka, 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 saka ga suki desu ka? Saka ga suki desu ka? Hi, daisuke desu. But again, just watching just them. Watching. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But how about you, Katie? Ah,、uh, ja, um,、mm, yaku ga suki desu ka? Yaku, 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 yaku ga ah ha suki desu ka? Oh. Um, Toto. Ah ha! Yeah, ah, so this guy. Good, good, good. Yeah, so like that, and of course, we have to ask, right? <laughs> so you know, dog or dogs, inu, and cat or cats, neko, neko. So yeah, so Katie, ask me, like, do you like dogs? Inu. Mhm. Inu ga. Uh huh. Kereska. Hi, daisuke des. Actually, I have three at home. <laughs> so,、oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me ask you.、Um, so, cat is neko. So, neko ga suki desu ka? I. Uh huh. Good. Last phrase. I just said I. I forget the、yeah. last phrase again. It's okay, but if you say hi, that's hi. already yes. So、okay. I know you like it, and then、okay. you're gonna say. Love it. You can say daisuke. 
大好き,大好きです。Yeah, 大好きです。Yeah. 私も、me too. 大好きです。Yes. I have one cat、mm-hmm. at home. So, yeah, and good. And not at the end, but least. Of course, I have to ask this question to everybody. 日本語が好きですか Remember? 日本語 that was my title for today. 日本語 so that's a Japanese language.、Uh-huh. So, 日本語が好きですか So, I'm asking, do you? Hi. Yes. <laughs> I hope everybody is saying, like, hi, 大好きです But, you know, so that's that just kind of like quick, you know, like type of thing. And before I end, so let's summarize kind of today's lesson. So let's try again. Introduce yourself. So now you can say hello for the first time. Hajime maste. And then your name, this. And then now you can maybe tell, you know, what you love. You can just put something you love there and then ga. 好きです。And there is no question anymore. So you don't have to say か at the end. So just 大好きです。And then end. And nice to meet you. どうぞよろしく。So I will try. Okay. So はじめまして。京子です。犬が大好きです。I love dogs. どうぞよろしく。Okay. Katie, do you want to try? Okay, I'm going to try. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. はじめまして、ケリです。ネコが大好きで、どうぞよろしく。Yeah, どうぞよろしく。Good job. Yeah, Thank you for a first time、yeah. trying Japanese. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> you know, so I hope like everybody actually try it, you know, and see. And maybe we run into each other, I don't know, at the Walmart <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Just grab me and then say, Hajimemashite. Then I know, oh, you watched that lesson. So <laughs> that'll be cool. So this is it. And I hope, you know, I'll see you soon again. And so see you again. It's Jamata. So that's come to the, my, the end of my lesson today. Thank you so, yeah. so much, Mrs. h a y e n No problem. So and, let me stop、yeah. sharing now. Okay.、Sure. And I just have、All、one、right. question for you. Sure.、Yeah. Thank you so much for doing、mm-hmm. this with us. And well, thank you、excited. so much. Yeah, yeah, for participating. Absolutely. <laughs>、yeah. I'm excited to go and tell all of my friends what I've learned. Good. Good,、um, good. So I have one question for、mm-hmm. you. Why do you think that everyone should learn to try to learn a foreign language?、Mm-hmm. I think I'll just give the simple answer because it's fun. You know, it's just so much fun. And then just imagine that, you know, one day you actually travel to that country. You try, you know, new food, you see beautiful sceneries, you know, stuff like that. And then plus, you can talk to people, you know, and maybe you can make friends. You can, you know, tell them about yourself in their own language and you can see how excited. They will be, you know, so the foreign language is just simply to me, it's fun and open the new doors for you. That's why I am here today. I learn English. That's why I can be here at UT Martin and speaking to you, Katie, and to everybody. So I want you, everybody, to try to learn foreign languages Japanese, Spanish, German, French, you know, Korean, anything, and just try it. And, you know, some might be you, you are good at it. And some you are not maybe so good at it, but you know, I think it's still a lot of fun. <laughs>、well, thank you so much. And、uh-huh. thank you, everybody who, were,、uh, who joined us today. We look forward to continuing our mission of inspiring children and adults to see beyond. For more educational resources, visit our website at discoveryparkofamerica.com/slash education. Thank you. Hey,、okay, thank you.